PCs Tracy Cope and Paul Finlayson are closest to the scene. They're about to land starring roles in a real-life horror show. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest things caught on security cameras. Killer recorded on surveillance video roaming the halls of the church. I thought it was an old friend of her. He lingered for just under 15 minutes. For this list, we'll be looking at freaky and unsettling images that have been caught on security cameras, whether public or private. Have you ever seen anything spooky on your security camera? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, clowns. Clowns are mostly associated with birthday parties and the circus, but in recent years, people have been sullying the profession through creepy acts like, well, this. In Jacksonville, Florida, various clowns were caught on security cameras terrorizing private homes. In one video, a clown simply stands near the porch and stares into the camera. In the other, more popular video, a clown goes onto a porch, rips apart a pumpkin while staring directly into the camera, and then leaves, with the pumpkin pulp an eerie reminder of its presence. It's said that these clowns were friends of the homeowners and were simply pranking them before Halloween, but still, that's not something you want to wake up to. It's a scene straight from a horror movie, but it's right here in Jacksonville. Number 9. Face in the Doorbell Receiving doorbell notifications at 4 in the morning is never a good sign. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Reddit user Fat and Depressed received numerous doorbell notifications on their cell phone spanning from before midnight to after 4 a.m. They initially ignored it, believing it to be nothing more than stray dogs or passing pedestrians on the sidewalk. But when they finally checked, they were met with one of the most terrifying sights on the internet. That of a person staring directly into their doorbell camera, a slight smile on their face, and their hands casually placed behind their back. It's like something out of The Purge, and it really gets the imagination going. Please just let us purge. Fortunately, the owner of the house confirmed that they were not harmed, just incredibly spooked. Number 8. Cruise Ship while modern cruise ships make for luxurious travel, the open sea is a fickle and dangerous thing. And unfortunately, everyone on this cruise learned that fact in the scariest way possible. The ship was on the open ocean near New Zealand when it encountered a violent storm that sent enormous waves pounding against the hull. On one of the ship's security cameras, people, tables, and chairs can be seen careening around the room as the ship lists in the storm. It makes for unnerving viewing, appearing like a scene out of Titanic. The storm left 42 people injured, and customers were offered a 25% discount on their next cruise as compensation. Number 7. Barnsley Antique Center Located in South Yorkshire, England, Barnsley Antique Center is a very popular shop, and for more reasons than one. It's caught the attention of paranormal enthusiasts, owing to its supposedly relentless supernatural activity. Back in 2016, a Bambi rocking horse was caught on camera rocking by itself and flying off the shelf. The previous year, a heavy lamp was caught being pushed off a table by an unseen force. But that's not all. A glass cabinet shattered for no apparent reason, pictures have fallen off shelves, and a book once tumbled off the aforementioned glass cabinet, startling an unsuspecting employee. The store uploads its creepy CCTV footage on its eponymous YouTube channel, and it has helped make the shop both a sensation and a popular tourist destination. Number 6. Missy Beaver's Killer on the morning of April 18, 2016, Dallas-area fitness instructor Missy Beavers was killed by an unidentified person while preparing a class in a local church. The murder of the 45-year-old mother of three left this small community of Midlothian just outside Dallas stunned. Beavers was found murdered inside the Creekside Church of Christ that sits along a rural Texas highway. The crime tragically remains unsolved, and that's made all the more aggravating owing to the clear video evidence of the killer. Various security cameras captured a suspicious vehicle driving in the area shortly before Beaver's murder. The vehicle caught in multiple angles by the store's cameras. But even creepier is the killer themselves. The suspect can be seen clad in police riot gear and casually roaming the empty halls of the church, opening various doors and wielding what appears to be a hammer. Number 5. Don't Take Donuts From Strangers In October of 2017, Mother Rochelle Haig experienced one of the scariest things that a parent can encounter. As captured in a video she later shared, a white van approached her three children, who were playing outside on a trampoline. Haig reportedly heard the driver asking the kids if they wanted some donuts. 
She initially thought it was a friendly neighbor and wasn't too alarmed. However, her eldest daughter, who can be seen running from the stranger on the CCTV footage, came bursting into the house and informed her mother of the situation. Haig confronted the man from afar, who reiterated the donut story before driving away. The incident was reported to the police, and Haig uploaded the creepy footage to Facebook. Number 4. The Store Standoff As captured on surveillance video, on June 17, 2013, a wanted felon named Sammy Wallace strolled into an Oklahoma City store and snatched a two-year-old girl out of her mother's cart. He then held the young girl at knife point and gave her mother a cell phone, demanding that she call a specific police officer. He proceeded to hold the girl hostage for a half an hour, and witnesses claim that he was rambling about the Illuminati. Really, you don't know if this guy is just just losing it was he uh, you know tweaking on something you just didn't know and uh, the more he kept saying and repeating himself and the more the scene kept elevating uh, you, you knew there was something definitely not right he spoke with a hostage negotiator with the child on his lap the knife held to her stomach when he brought the knife up to her throat however he was immediately shot but i can tell you that our officers did everything exactly right they exhausted all means to bring this to a peaceful, peaceful conclusion. The little girl was unharmed. There's a good ending to this story, and that is my daughter has her life, and I'm very thankful for that. Number three, the Erickson twins. The first glimpse of this incredible story is from a CCTV camera. Swedish twin sisters Ursula and Sabina Erickson were traveling the UK when their odd behavior got them kicked off a bus. They soon made their way onto the meridian strip of a busy freeway where they were captured on CCTV. The twins proceeded to run into oncoming traffic and were repeatedly struck by speeding cars. As one highway worker stays with the sisters, his colleague tries to tell the police what's happened. But then, all hell breaks loose. Ursula was seriously injured in the ordeal, and Sabina attacked an officer after regaining consciousness. She was taken into custody, but attacked a man after being released from court, leading to five years imprisonment. The last thing I saw was a run across the roundabout, followed by two paramedics. Just thought, well, my job's done now. It's up to the professionals. No drugs or alcohol were reported in the original bizarre incident, and it was eventually chalked up to a rare phenomenon known as shared psychosis, in which two people share a psychotic episode. I don't think she knew anything that had gone on. She either didn't care or couldn't remember. I can't understand how somebody appears so comfortable in that situation, because I would be bricking it. Number two watching you sleep. There are few things scarier than an intruder breaking into your house and watching you sleep. Unfortunately, Chicago couple Jack McKercher and Jordan Baranskis know that from first-hand experience. The suspect entered their home through an unlocked door and stood at the top of the stairs, silently watching over the couple who had fallen asleep on the couch. Luckily, the couple were not hurt, though Jordan's purse was stolen. Curious about the missing purse, Jordan and Jack consulted the home's security camera hoping to get answers. And that's when they saw the lurker standing at the top of the stairs. They believe he walked up several flights of the building's back stairwell and entered through an unlocked sliding door that leads to the master bedroom. This is like something out of an urban legend, and it is every bit as terrifying. I like to think that he was watching the TV, not us. That's like slightly more comforting in this sort of disgusting circumstances. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Shadow Person. A creepy shadow quickly darts in and out of frame. Interrupted Dinner. An evening meal is interrupted by a driveway ghost. This is what they saw during dinner last night. It looks like a person in an otherworldly form. Their explanation? It's a ghost. Pushed by a shadow. A young boy is pushed from behind by a shadow. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Alisa Lamb. Something's weird here. Is there some type of cover-up within the Cecil Hotel? 
what's going on here. Lam was a college student staying at Los Angeles's infamous Cecil Hotel when she went missing. CCTV elevator footage showed Lam acting in an unsettling manner shortly before her death. She can be seen hiding inside the elevator, peeking around the corner, continuously entering and exiting the elevator, and speaking to someone in the hallway. Two weeks after she was reported missing, Lamb's body was found in one of the hotel's water tanks. The leading theory is that Lamb stopped taking her medication, leading to a psychotic episode. She then likely accessed the roof via a fire escape and climbed into one of the open tanks. In my mind, there are some questions that I think need to be answered before you can really determine that this is a accidental drowning. Among those questions, how Lamb ended up inside the tank without her clothes on. Doors and stairs leading to the hotel's roof were locked, with only staff having the passcodes and keys. Her death was one of the most shocking and captivating news stories of the 2010s. The door closes, and she's never seen again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.